Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and yet again I've got some more cases for my brand new Samsung Galaxy S8. This is the midnight black color I've got here and this time around I've got cases from Terrapin. So a big thumbs up to Terrapin for sending me all these cases for the Samsung Galaxy S8. They've also sent me cases for the Huawei P10 Plus which I will review in a different video. However, like I said, in this video, we'll be reviewing the cases for the Samsung Galaxy S8 only. So I got four cases here. So we'll have a look at them one at a time and see how they sphere on my Samsung Galaxy S8. So without wasting any more time, let's quickly get so let's started. Let's have a look at the first one then. Uh, this looks like to me as if it's the DPU gel case. So let's take this out of the packaging and see what comes out. Pretty simple and straightforward packaging, guys. Okay, and this is by the way blue in color. That's not too bad transparent blue normally I'm used to seeing uh, gel cases are normally like clear or different color But this is the blue color first time I've seen a blue color a transparent blue color for the Samsung Galaxy S8 TPU gel material one of my favorite types of cases So let's bring the Samsung Galaxy S8 and let's put in the case and see how this fares Okay, it goes in straight away without any issues and like always the first thing I love about such cases is is the minimalistic approach They're very minimal on the phone and they hardly add any weight to the phone. It looks very very nice It to, to be honest it gives a bit of different perspective to the phone the phone is black the case is blue something you don't see So a different combination something I'm beginning to like to be honest. It looks quite nice on my phone So let's start off with the cutouts and see how the case is like so at the back We got the camera cut out along with the fingerprint sensor also the LED flash light and the heart rate monitor so it looks quite nice it's got a nice deep cut into it so if the phone was to fall flat like that the case will definitely give you protection and protect your camera which is the most sensitive of all the three okay so have a look on the right hand side this is where the power button is so let's have a look if it works nice feedback and it's working fine without any issues on the left hand side this is where the Bixby button and the volume rocker is let's have a look at the Bixby button then so Bixby button works straight away there you guys and it turns up and so does and the volume rocker nice layout for the power volume and the Bixby button up top here you have the cutout for uh, the mic as well at the bottom here type C USB along with the speaker port and also the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and like I said the best thing about the case is the way it goes onto the phone and also so it comes off very easily this is one of my favorite categories guys I love TPU see-through gel cases because they come off so easily and also it's so easy to put them on back on the phone as well and also they don't add no weight to the phone whatsoever so from my side thumbs up nice case so let's have a look at the next one it seems like we have another a TPU gel case so let's open this up okay so like I said, it was another TPU gel case. It's not see-through, it's grey in colour, but still very practical and looks very, very functional. So let's put the Samsung Galaxy S8 in. There we go, guys. And it looks quite nice. To be honest, this looks even better than the one from before because it's more... Uh, it's, it's the contrast of the black and grey is more appealing than the blue and the black. So I quite like it. Lovely case. This might just be my new case, to be honest, for the phone. I like it very nice very practical very functional and also made from a tpu gel material so easy to take it off and also very easy to put it on once again one of my favorite categories of cases so let's have a look at the cutouts then at the back you can see got a nice deep lip here will protect your camera and everything else down at the bottom you have your speaker port here mic port a type c usb and also the 3.5 a millimeter headphone jack okay on the right hand side this is where the power button is as you can see there's a bit of cut out there so let's press this and see if it works let me just unlock the phone with my facial recognition there you go it opens up let's have a look at the big speed button on the left hand side there you go guys it comes up as well and so does the volume rocker is working nice as well okay the one thing i've noticed that uh, the cutouts for the buttons like the power button on the right, the Bixby and the volume are not as prominent. They're quite seamless along with the material, but they're not as prominent, so you don't, you hardly feel them. So for me to uh, getting used to this case, uh, I think it will take me a while because I have to look here physically first where the power button cutout is and then press the button. So it can be a bit of an issue, not that much of an issue, but it does seem to me as if the buttons are not as prominent. So you might struggle to find where the power button is if the case is on. Like I said, they are nicely well flushed along with the case, so you might not be able to see them. So you're going to find them slightly harder to feel them whilst you have your thumb moving across to see where the button is. Up top here, you also have the mic cutout, so it's not looking too bad. 
So all in all, solid case. It's got nice grip to it and it's not see-through, it's grey, but I love the contrast of grey and black. It looks a very, very nice combination. But overall, decent case apart from, like I said, the button cuttings, they're not as prominent. But other than that, it looks very, very nice. Let's have a look at the next one then. So this seems to me as this is the armor case by Terrapin. So let's open this up and have a look and see uh, what do we get inside. Okay. All right, something different, something I haven't seen before. Oh, very good. We got a kickstand as well. That looks quite nice. Not too bad. I haven't had a kickstand case for a long time, guys. So I'm going to put this to a test and see how this goes. It looks very functional, very practical and solidly made as well. So not looking too bad. The case has a very um, a futuristic look. It looks as if uh, it's from some high-tech film. So you can see the rubber here. It's basically made from hard polycarbonate and soft silicon mixed material. So it's a dual layer case. It's got this nice silicon inside and also the hard polycarbonate design on the outside as well. Okay, so uh, there's no fun obviously until we put the Samsung Galaxy S8 in. So let's have a look and see how this fares. Okay, going in pretty easy, no problem whatsoever. Let's try to take it off and see if it comes out easily. Ta-da, there we go, no issues. So it looks like that Tarapin have done a good job even with the armor case, which I had some problems from the old, from other uh, vendors, like uh, I remember there was a case from Tudia or a Poetic, and it was a struggle for me to put it on and also uh, take it off. But here I can see it's much easier to take it off and also to put it back on. So uh, from my side, thumbs up for this nicely done Terrapin. Okay, so let's have a look at the case now. On the right hand side, we have the power button. So let's do the facial unlock. And if you can open the phone up, there we go, guys. Let's try the big speed button. Boom. There we go. Works straight away. No issues. And so does the volume rocker. And like in, unlike the previous case, in this case, the buttons are very prominent. You can feel them. So it's quite nice. So you don't have to look at that side or this side for you to feel the buttons. So quite nice. Okay. So let's have a look then around the phone because this case has got a lot going on in it. So we have the kickstand. So let's open this up. There we go, guys. Boom. The kickstand comes out and then you can watch your movies and stuff. So let's play a video of mine if we can. Hello YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. There you go guys. News, and there's some bad news as well. So let's discuss this very quickly and keep this video as short as possible. Okay, so after the update, I've been playing uh, with the setting on the screen. Uh, like I said, in the evening ever since I've been home, I've been playing with the settings and it seems to me as if it has done the trick, not fully, but up to a point where it, the display quality is acceptable uh, to a general consumer. And especially when it comes to me, I am uh, satisfied that the OT update has made significant difference to the Samsung Galaxy S8's red tint uh, display issue. Okay. okay, as you guys can see, it looks lovely actually, I, I'm loving it. I haven't had a kickstand case for a long time guys, so it's nice to have a kickstand and with solid protection. Okay, so I can see here uh, around around the edges and around the corners, this is by quite a lot of uh, soft silicon which will protect your phone. Bumper protection at the back, so you got two layers here. You got the hard polycarbonate at the back along with this bumper protection here on the corners and also you got the silicon protecting the front and also the side of the screen which is quite nice. So there's a bit of lip there guys, as you can see, look at the lip. It's quite deep and it's quite high, very nice. So this lip here at the bottom and also lip at the front in case of the phone was to fall flat facing down like that, it will definitely give your screen a protection and the lips will take the extra pressure and the load and your screen most likely will be saved from minor drops if not major drops. So it looks quite nice. I love the kickstand like I showed you guys earlier already. So the raised lips, silicon parameter for the screen protection when placed face down is also very, very nice. And the button in the camera, everything else seems okay. So let's have a look at uh, the cutout at the back. The lip is not deep enough, but then you have this extra silicon protection, which will obviously give you the extra depth in case of the phone was to fall flat like this, facing backwards. So this extra uh, silicon rubber here gives it a bit of more depth. And that's why this cut is not as deep so that these can accommodate and give you the extra protection quite nice. Very futuristic. It seems as if this case has come from some sci-fi movie, so to be honest. Uh, I like the soft polycarbonate at the back, even though it's hard though, but still the finish is quite soft. And also because you got this uh, silicon uh, all the way across around the edges and the corners of the phone, so it will give you a very good grip. And I don't see this case slipping from your hands. 
so a very nice case i love it i'm not normally a big fan of kickstand cases because and, and armor or thick cases or bumper cases because they add a bit of weight to the phone it does add a bit of weight to the phone guys however it still looks very slick very stylish very nice and gives it all round protection with an added advantage of having a kickstand if you're watching youtube videos or movies okay so last but not least we have yet another case from terrapin and this looks like to me as if this is a wallet case so let's take this out and see what are they offering us with this case Tada! there we go okay this gives me the feeling of as if this is leather this is most likely from what i can see it looks like to me as if it's synthetic leather okay so the one thing i've noticed straight away the magnetic clasp now traditionally you have claps coming from the back of the phone and covering the top of the phone whereas in here instead of wrapping around to the front of the phone like almost all other cases in the market i've reviewed so far this one fastens at the side which means it's much easier to open when you want to take photos etc i don't have the flap getting in the way now let me give you a practical demonstration of that so let's take all this out chuck it away and let's bring the samsung galaxy s8 and let's put it in the case straight away there we go guys as you can see so once i close this flap here the clasp attaches on the side of the case and not though the other way around normally traditionally that we have cases where the claps are coming from the back of the phone and covering the front top so every time you have to open it it goes comes in the way whereas this one is on the side so that means it's not in your way so this is nicely done something which i haven't seen before so a thumbs up to uh, terrapin for introducing something new and for those people who love wallet cases i'm sure they will appreciate the fact that this is a new design and it is very very practical and very very functional so let's have a look at the cutouts and the ports so down at the bottom you got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with the type c usb mic and also the speaker ports so whilst you have the flip case closed you can still use your headphone you can charge the phone and also listen to the music at the same time up top here you have the mic port nicely cut out as well so let's have a look inside now some card slots here so you can always use your bank cards or driver's license whatever fits in so it's nice soft material inside as well so quite nice also we have the tpu gel case covering the phone from inside so it's nicely all round protection not looking too bad so all in all i like the case and also and the cutout at the back for the camera is quite deep as well so if the phone was to fall flat like this it will definitely give your camera and other bits protection and at the front obviously you've got the flip so there's no way in the world your screen will break if it falls down like that so it's not looking too bad all in all i quite like the case i like the stitching going well across adding a bit more executive look to the case so it's not quite looking quite nice not bad and all in all a decent case so this case can also be used as a stand so let's open the flip up and let's slide the phone across there we go guys simple nice and easy to get different angles uh, should you wish to so you can slide it all the way across like that for a more slanting angle or you can reduce it by pushing it back so it's not looking too bad looking from the side of the back it gives a nice bit of support if you're watching your videos or your, your, your uh, movies or whatever you're watching it will give you a nice option here to make this into a stand as well so very practical case very functional and also at the same time very very elegant and very solid case i quite like it i myself not a big fan of flip cases but those people who like flip cases i'm sure you will appreciate the new magnetic clasp system which clasps on the side instead of clasping at the front so all in all not too bad terrapin okay so guys if you like my video please give me a thumbs up uh, any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i will leave the links down below for all the cases should you wish to purchase and please subscribe to my channel as it helps and i shall see you in the next video